So this is the Unichip X Plus. Uh, this is um, the latest version of the Unichip. So if you browse along the internet, especially on Facebook Marketplace, looking for a used one, you will come across Q, Q Plus, Q4. Uh, those will still work, but of course the latest one will have features that the older ones don't, particularly the throttle control and the throttle in the hands and the ability to drive other things like injector solenoid, uh, boost solenoid, uh, nitrous solenoid, and all of that. <clears throat> and it's a universal thing. So again, you're browsing Facebook Marketplace because you know from my post, from our Facebook, from our videos that this will work for pretty much any car. So we'll be installing this on a Subaru, but just in case you get tired of your Subaru, Get rid of it. We can remove the unit chip. You buy a Corolla Cross Hybrid. We can install this on the Corolla Cross Hybrid. You buy a Yaris Cross. We can install this. You buy a RAV4 Camry. We can install this as well. So basically, any car that cannot be remapped is fair game for the unit chip. Uh, older cars like, I don't know, you want to relive your high school days and buy a 2001 Lancer GSR, the unit chip will work as well. Uh, this is the wiring diagram uh, for you guys with an engineering background or yeah ECE background you should be able to understand this but for the normal guys this is how it is this here corresponds to this plug of the unit chip so it's this side it's like this so this equals to that so that's those are the pins there that's pretty much it. And this side is the one where the ECU sockets are. So there's four sockets. We'll be using only two sockets. And then the wires here, these wires here correspond to the wires here. So we have red, white, and brown. So these are all color-coded. Uh, each wire is actually individual. There are no two red wires. There are no two green, no two blue wires. Each wire is a unique color. To avoid confusion and so this simply plugs in here to the unit chip then these wires are wired into the corresponding colors for the ecu so there's all the color coded here so white black black white and so on and so forth there's green there's black as well these wires on the ecu are also actually you can call it pretty much unique no two wires are the same it may be the same they say black wire but there's a fat black wire and there's a thin black wire so they're not they're not all the same uh for those of you who are still afraid of well most of you are still afraid as long as it comes to electronics if you wire the unit chip wrong into the ecu it will not make the ecu explode it will not damage the ecu it will not damage the unit chip either the car simply won't start that means you did something wrong so even if you wire it differently, you cross it or whatever, it will not damage a thing. It simply means that a signal goes somewhere where it's not supposed to. It's not going to fry anything. So don't worry about it. And we have the, another set of wires here. These go to the pedal itself, to the throttle. So if this goes here, to this socket here. And this one goes here on the other side so this one goes this is what i'm saying the additional output control so again this can control throttle we have other slots here so there's more spaces here we can control boost we can control nitrous we can control additional injectors so on and so forth so it's kind of flexible when you want to build a specialized engine so this entire thing gets wired into the car and as far as tuning goes where people are asking, is it a remap? Yes, it is. This is the Unichip tuning screen. <coughs> that is a map. See? It says map right there. Map setup, map setup, map setup. Set, see? Extra map, extra map. So yes, Unichip is remapping also. Except that it's done with additional hardware instead of just through pure software. Because the hardware that's present in the car cannot be remapped. So we need additional help. So yes. It's remapping, and every time that you, let's say, you watch other people's videos and they claim that they're tuners and everything, you look for a screen that looks like this. It looks like a big Excel file. If they have this screen, 
they are tuning the car. If they don't have the screen, they are not the ones tuning the car. That simple. So let's put an example here. I have here, I have a fuel map. So again, see, map set up. So this is the fuel map. This is the ignition timing map. This is a, another fuel map. We have up to four fuel maps uh, to control various things. And we have all here, this is RPM. So up to 7,500, which we can, we can scale actually. If it's a diesel, we only scale it to 4,700. Then this one is load. Uh, so this is idle. Then this is full 13 is full throttle. Uh, Y13, it's a nice arbitrary number. Doesn't mean anything. Pretty much every tuning software has to have these two axes. It's either on the X or the Y. And one of them's always, almost always RPM. The other one's almost always load. You know, to say for timing here, if we, I wanted to increase timing, say from mm, uh, 1,100 to 3.8, we can advance timing. So it's a matter of putting in numbers like this one. So these are actual degrees. So say three degrees timing here, a little bit up here. We can do up to say four, maybe five, yeah, five degrees. And here, a little bit more here too. That in effect is what tuning is. I am changing the values on the table itself. And then these values get uploaded to the unit ship. Then the unit ship tells the ECU what to do with the new values. Um, that in a nutshell is what tuning is. It uh, doesn't matter if it's direct ECU remap, so through unit ship, um, through e-manage, the older ones, through AM. It all works pretty much the same way. It's changing the numbers here on the screen. And these numbers affect performance.